You know what I really hate? Is when you get this phone call and there's this lady with a strange accent and then she t- phones from a telco mm. company and then she says like, are you the head of family? And you know how late it is. How should I do it differently? Okay. Well, you've probably had a phone call from Sophie from the telecom company. Exactly. Uh, probably. Um, well, the first thing I try and teach our agents is to not be Sophie from the telecom company. Um, so who should they be? <laughs> themselves, themselves, basically. Yeah. yeah. Um, one other tip I usually give is try and mirror the person you're talking to. Yeah. But it's tough. You, 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 you pick up the phone and I think the magical moment happens there when you have to say something. Hi. How do, you, how do you get through that first few seconds? Well, the first thing I think you need to do is make sure you're, you're uh, phoning the right person. You have to double check if you're uh, talking to the right person. Because if you work in, in a B2B space, you first want to get through to the right person. And then when they say, well, what's it about? Well, there's two things you can do wrong. Um, you can, one, do the whole pitch. Um, and then the gatekeeper, yeah, it's too long and the gatekeeper will probably decide um, if, if he or she will be interested or not. So don't make it too long, but don't make it too short because you want to explain like a little bit um, what you're going to speak about. But um, so you, you should actually say what you're going to speak about. Never lie. Saying that you uh, said, it's not lying, it's a different <laughs> kind of truth, right? Yeah. Um, well, what I like to do is like to give it like a really short um, um, pitch, like... Um, I've got some questions regarding uh, the sales process. Uh, if you could please put me through. And that works. That's it. That's it. That's yeah. the best bet you'll get. You make a script. Yeah. So how do you do that pragmatically? Because I'm always, everybody, we talk a lot about it. And every time I see things slowing down, I'm like, yeah, how should we do it? So it means you have like two, three lines. When I look at it, I know I start with line one. And if it goes bad, I switch to line two. Or how, yeah. how does it work? Yeah. Well, you, you need a script. Um, but I'd rather have like a roadmap. Uh, when, when he says yes, when he says no, when he says A, when he says B. Because um, when you just read a script, it comes across as a script. Uh, you want a conversation yeah. uh, with the person. So you don't want them to make a decision already about your product or service. You want to spark some interest yeah. and uh, go to your appointment. Don't, don't sell it because uh, that, that doesn't work. But let's just do a small example. Hang on, I have a phone. You're gonna, okay, you're gonna pick up the phone. I'm gonna pick up the phone. Okay, I, you're I, the I gatekeeper. have to be the annoying, uh, the gatekeeper. You want me to be really annoying or just annoying? Um, you can be either, doesn't matter, because I'm, okay. gonna, I'm gonna do it bad on purpose anyway. Beep, <laughs> beep. Hello, this is Michael, reception of MC Square. Hi, Michael. This is Matthias speaking from... Hey, Matthias. Uh, hi, Michael. Um, well, I've got a little question for you, Michael. Uh, is it correct that you are the boss of the, um, the, the, um, the company? No, I'm the receptionist. You're the receptionist. Could, yeah. Please put good, me through. Good looking reception. Good looking. Ah, I, was, I was thinking that, yeah. Um, could you please put me through with uh, the head of the company? No. Um, why not? He's busy. Oh, he's busy. Um, can he phone me back? No. So I did a couple of things if wrong. Right now, my colleague, I would say, I got this idiot for <laughs> office rent. Yeah, but I did a couple of things wrong. Um, yeah. For example, um, I, I didn't know the name of the, the person I wanted to speak to. So I asked for the boss, which, yeah. which never works. Um, and well, you said he's not available right now, which happens a lot. And you, yeah. you need to call him back. So I asked, can he call me back? Yeah, which, which will never, never, never happens. Never happens. You need to co- keep control. You have to decide what your next action is going to be. Then I asked, can I send an email? Um, the, the person doesn't expect your email. It doesn't know I've heard it many times. People say, can I send an email? And they yeah. forget to ask the email address. That's, that's pretty bad as well, yeah. which I did <laughs> on purpose. Um, and then uh, I, at the end of the call, I said, sorry for calling you. Yeah. Um, which will, a lot of agents usually do like, ah, oh, sorry for disturbing you. But if you say that, like a hundred times a day, you're putting yourself in like a, a negative mindset. Yeah. Wish the person a very good day. And if yeah. you say like, uh, have a nice day for a hundred times, you probably feel a little bit better than yeah. just saying, I'm sorry for calling you, sorry for disturbing you. How do we pragmatically do some of this stuff? With that, I mean, is so I'm going to hire somebody who's going to do cold calling. How many calls should he or she do in a day? Well, there's the software to do it automatically for you, yeah. uh, which means you can do more phone calls during a, a time period. Yeah. Um, we do about 100 F, like calls a day. 
per person. Per person. The program allows you to have everything in front of you. So you basically sit with a headset backwards with yeah, beer yeah. and you just... Which is quite relaxing, yeah. They can't have beer though, no. um, oh. <laughs> uh, lots of water. Um, but then we also um, allow our people just go to the toilet whenever they want. Um, grab some coffee if you want. And how do you deal with the lake of rejection when people Keep, keep getting no, 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 yeah. no, no. Well, you probably will need someone who is a positive person. Because yeah. uh, a person who's like, it's quite a negative mindset, usually uh, after a couple of phone calls will, will give up. So you'll need like someone who's like positive, um, who's, um, who, who, who likes to speak as well um, and doesn't mind a no that much. Because you, you will get a lot of no's. I think we should talk about metrics. Okay. So tell me, if you do 100 phone calls a day, as you said, yeah. what, what's the close ratio? How many meetings do you get? Or can you enlighten us with some of these numbers yeah. that are realistic? Because yeah. I see a lot of numbers that are just crazy. An average um, is about 10%. If you phone 100 companies, companies, you'll probably get about 10 appointments. But um, 10 appointments. 10 appointments, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but if you're like, um, if, you, if you're calling for the CEO of, of Coca-Cola, for example, it probably will take you a couple of more phone calls to get a person like that. And, and when you're just calling um, a person who's got like a um, one-man business, it's usually a little bit easier. Would you phone on the company number? Yeah, um, we have to uh, use your phone number or we have to buy a phone number. But when we have to buy a phone number, it has to be uh, from our region. Okay, yeah. GDPR. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then, but we, we do call in your name. Like I'm, I'm, I'm your colleague. I'm just, I'm just um, handling your agenda. I'm just booking appointments for you. So I pretend to be from your company. So you said 10%, yeah. which I think is pretty high. Yeah. It means you're good or you have a good script or something. And you get X amount of meetings. How many times do you try and reach somebody? Is there a limit like five times, six times? So some fun stats maybe. Um, we usually need to phone uh, three times before we get an appointment. Because the first time you get a gatekeeper and, and, and you're gonna ask, is he available? He's not available, you have to call back. Next time you call back, is he available now? Probably not. Uh, the next day you call and then you get put through. Uh, so usually it's about three times we have to call a company before we get like an appointment. Um, how many times uh, we phone a company? Um, our max amount that we use is four. If there is one piece of advice that you would like to share with our viewers, on how to improve their cold cold skills and everything around it, what would it be? Yeah, um, well, I'll, I'll give a couple of, uh, of, of tips and tricks maybe. Um, the first one is um, be sure you, you know the name of the person you want to speak to. Um, don't make your script too long, uh, don't talk too much and make sure you're not trying to, to sell because not selling is a new selling. Uh, you just want to book an appointment. You don't want them to decide if they want your product or service. Um, but most of all, just have a conversation with the person you're talking to and don't be show free from the telecom company. Those were really great tips and thanks for being oh, on the hold show. On, hold on, oh. hold on. Hi? Hello? Oh, hi, Sophie. How are you? Cold callers. Can't live with them, can't live without them.